Square root. What's the first thing in our square root, folks? This. The first thing in our square root is going to be positive or negative? Positive. Should you ever get a negative? No. No, not from this part. Now, can you get a negative within your square root? Yes, sure. If you've done all this math, you might get a negative. But this first part will always be positive because you're squaring a number. Okay, then we have a minus sign. What are we subtracting? Negative. Okay, good. So you should have a minus and then a negative. Do you have a minus and a negative? Yes. Good. And then all divided, don't forget about that. Let's continue going. How much is 64 minus negative 24? 88. We're not going to get 40? No. Oh, what, what? Are we subtracting or actually adding? We're adding. We're adding. Plus or minus, what, you said 88? Yeah. Over 6. Done? No. Simplify the radical. Go ahead. Can you simplify the radical like we did in every other step? Now, I can't say, what's the square root of 88? And you go, oh, 7. Well, that's not going to work, right? But we can find out what that is. What number goes into 88? 4. 4 and 22. You okay with that? You sure? So this is 8 plus or minus. Notice that this is 4 times 22. That's going to give you 2 root. 22. Do you see where the 2 root 22 is coming from, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, yeah. All over 6. Are you done now? No, you can still simplify. We can. You could write this as two solutions now, but that's not good enough. Okay, this answer will never be in the back of the book. This answer is not simplified. What you need to do on these problems, you actually need to factor if you can. I want you to notice that if I ignore the 6 here for a second, notice how 2 could be divided out of that? Do you see that? You with me? This is really this is like eight plus two root twenty-two and eight minus root two root twenty-two, right? Two is a common factor here. Not the twenty. Leave the twenty-two alone. You you've already you finished that part. But this can be factored as two. Watch carefully. Four plus or minus square root of twenty-two. Why? Wait, wait a minute. How did I get the four? I factored it. Divided by two. Factoring means divided by two. Where did this 2 go? I factored it. I divided it. Put it away. Why didn't I do that there? Well, that's got a square root. I'm already taking away the 2. Remember, this is 2 times. So if I divide this whole thing by 2, I factor out the 2. The 2 is gone. The 22 stays the same. If I factor this by 2, I divide that by 2, I get 4. All over how much? Hey, hey, look at Can you simplify this now? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, you can. So when I simplify this, this is 2 times this whole expression. I can simplify 2 times something. That becomes a 1. This becomes a how much? So x equals 1. So x equals, the 1 doesn't do much. I have 4 plus or minus the square root of 22 over 3. I am almost done. Almost done. Do I have two solutions? No. Nope. Well, I don't. Yeah. Sure, that plus and minus gives me two solutions. It's all simplified as much as I can. I just want you to write it out now. So x equals will follow the stream. 4 upstream plus root 22 over 3. And 4 downstream, 4 minus. Square root of 22 over 3. Those are the two solutions that you should get. That's as simple as possible. That is what would be in the back of your book, okay? So if you're doing this problem, listen, this happens a lot when you're doing completing the square and quadratic formula. If you're doing the problem, you get all the way down, you go, oh, crap, it's not in the back of the book. You're checking your answers in the back of the book, by the way, right? Yeah. Hope you are. And you go, dang it, what am I doing wrong? Maybe nothing. Maybe you just haven't gone far enough. If you write this, this doesn't look anything like that. All, all, every number is different except the 22. So if you get this and you go, whoa, I thought I was doing it right, what happened? Well, either you messed up a sign, you plugged in A, B, and C wrong, or you haven't simplified enough. So check it, whether your A, B, and C are correct. Check whether you did your math correctly. But then, if you did, well, try simplifying. Factor out the number and simplify it. You guys all right with that? Okay. So make sure you are factoring. Um, I did put up your answers for the, the test review last night, like 8 o'clock. You're welcome. 
Uh, and uh, you'll notice sometimes I gave you two answers. The first one is what you should have initially, and then there's a little arrow, and the arrow says, that's what I want. Okay, the arrow is, go further. Give me that. How many feel okay with what we talked about so far? So you're putting things in the correct form first, and then we're just working it out. Are there any questions on this? Because I have to race this to go on. It's pretty straightforward, though, isn't it? Pretty straightforward. Nice. Now, you knew I was going to do something to you right here that, that's not fun. You knew that, right? Yeah. You knew that. Because I'm building these up. I mean, of course. I'm making them more difficult. It's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday, after all. So I have to ruin your good Friday with rain and with fractions. But no homework. Uh, <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> Yeah, you get a triple whammy today. You get rain, you get fractions, and you get homework. What a Friday. Oh, fraction Friday. You can't, you can't miss Fraction Friday. Oh, my gosh. Hey, firstly, let's, let's check a couple things. There's two things you can check. First thing is, is this all to one side and zero on the other side like I want it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Is it in the correct order, which means x squared, x number? Yes. That's how you need to have it to find a, b, and c. How much is your a? How much is your B? How much is your C? So could I take these numbers, watch the board, could I take these numbers and plug them into this? Yes. One sixth would go there and there. One negative one half would go here and here. I would be getting one fourth out of that. And then negative one would be going there. True? Mm -hmm. Do you want to do that? No. Shake your head. No. Do you ever want to work with fractions? No. no. Is this an equation? Yes. yes. Oh yeah. What can you do with equations? Chapter 7, what can you do with equations? Can you always get rid of a fraction with equations? Oh my gosh, then do that. Listen, listen carefully. If you plug fractions into this thing, two things are going to happen. You're going to get it wrong, or you're going to spend a tremendous amount of time doing this to get the right answer. Okay, a tremendous amount of time. Because you're dealing with fractions, folks. You'd have one half here on the top of it. You'd have a complex fraction. You have to work with that. Do you want to work with that? No. No, you don't want to do that. You're going to be finding common denominators all day long and manipulating this to get the correct thing. When we're going to be able to solve this first, well, not solve it, but we're going to be able to get rid of those fractions first and then have something very simple to deal with. You with me on that? So the first thing I need you to do when you get, when you get a problem like this on your test, which you will have, it can be either very easy or very hard. If you don't clear the fractions, it's very hard. If you clear the fractions first, it's very easy. So first thing, eliminate fractions. Okay, how do I eliminate fractions? LCD, so I need that. Can you find the LCD? It includes all my denominators. How much is it? Is that a denominator? So even were this a 4, would it... Would it pay, would it be part of this? No. If this was like a, a four, or if this, how about this, how about this, if this was a five, would it change my LCD? No. No, because this is like five over one, right? So don't let that confuse you. If this is a whole number, no problem. It's like a whole number over one. That plays no part in your LCD. You're just looking at the denominators here, just at denominators. Now, if this was, if this was 1 over 5, would that be a part of your LCD? Yes. Absolutely. If you had a number over here, well, you won't, because you're going to put it in the proper form first, aren't you? Okay, we're good. So, with that in mind, how much is your LCD, please? Six. Good, 6. Yeah, we don't need 12, do we? We just need 6. Don't make it worse than it is. So, take that, what do you do with that 6? Multiply it by how many things? One thing, two things, three things, four things? Two. two. Just two? Three. If I multiply, look at, look at the board. If I multiply it here and here, does that work? No. Notice how I've multiplied two terms. I've left out the rest of my equation. What else do I need to multiply it by? By my little one. Okay. 
okay. I don't like 666. You better have another one. Well, yeah, technically, technically you got to do that, you know? Technically you got to do that. Because this is an equation, and when you multiply one side, you have to multiply the other side. Now, fortunately for us, how much is this going to be? Zero. Don't make the mistake and put six. Please don't do that. Zero times anything is zero, right? So, yes, you, you are multiplying this, but if you do this correctly, everything's on one side anyway, this is still going to be zero. You follow? Yes, no? Everybody? Yes. So that's going to be zero. How much is this going to be? Just one. X squared. Perfect. X squared. Is this going to simplify? Yeah. yeah, it has to. You're using the LCD. That's going to be minus what? And then this is going to give you how much? Hey, does that look a lot better? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. That's way, way better. Um, you could even try to factor. You can't factor this. You'd spend 10 seconds doing it. You have negative 3, negative 6. You try to factor. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. You can't do it. Then use quadratic formula. Right. So that's the idea here. You don't want to do completing the square. That's an odd number. So do the quadratic formula. Find your A, your B, and your C for me real quick. We're, this is the last one we'll actually do all the way together. How much is your A? One. How much is your B? I'm glad you got the A. The A is not zero. The A is one. And C is? So we're going to plug this in. We'll get x equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C. All over 2 times A. So negative negative 3 plus or minus negative 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 6 all over 2 times 1. If you show me that, at least I know you know what you're doing. Right? If you get that far, you do know what you're doing. After that would be a math error, a basic math error. So we're going to do this. What's the first thing I'm going to write, ladies and gentlemen? Three well, let's go quickly. We should know how to do this at this point. How much? Three. Three. And then, Plus minus. sure, inside my radical, the first thing gives me? Nine. Nine minus what? Negative. Minus negative 24. Very good. All over 2 times 1 gives you 2. You still okay so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to have x equals 3 plus or minus the square root. What's inside my square root at this point? Am I subtracting? Should I have a negative or should I have a positive? How much? Over 2. Now, at this point, firstly, how many people feel okay getting down to that far? Good for you. Right. At this point, you try to simplify that. Can you simplify that? No. Now it's 3 times 11. That's 2 primes. You can't do that. Can't simplify this. Can't factor anything out. You can't factor anything here. You cannot factor a 3. This 3 is okay. This one's inside the radical. You can't do that. It's got to be outside the radical to factor. So in this point, well, well this is kind of nice. You're, you're actually pretty much done. You just write your two solutions. Do you see your two solutions? Yeah. Write them out and you're done. You've got x equals 3 plus square root of 33 over 2. You get 3 minus square root of 33 over 2. That's it. I'd like you to do one of your own before we go any further. Again, you're going to have one very much like this on your test. 